ladies and gentlemen, welcome to VFG Movie Reviews with your host, Tim Williams. How's it going, guys? Welcome to VFG Movie Reviews, and this is my review for Rocky 3. As you know, this is a part of Attack of the Franchise, where we are doing 12 franchises all year. This is the month of February, and we are doing Rocky. If you guys would like to join us for these reviews, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, hit all, leave a comment down below, let me know if you love some Rocky 3. Now let's get into this. All right, guys, the whole cast comes back. We have Stallone, Talia Schreier, Burt Young, Carl Weathers, Burgess Meredith, uh, and we're adding, we're adding Hulk Hogan, baby, as Thunderlips. And we are adding Mr. T is that as that bad brother, Clubber Lang. Man, let me tell you. Okay, so I really dug this. And we are riding that high from Rocky winning the title. Um, a twist in all this is that Mickey has made him a paper champion and pretty much has just kept throwing nobody's, uh, nobody's, against him that he knew he was gonna beat for he'd look good rocky finds this out clubber lang's like you gotta give me a shot and he's mickey's like no you're a bum you're never gonna get a shot at the champ and he's like what up mick all this stuff but before that we have a charity event with my boy hulk hogan thunder lips and it goes chaos rocky thinks this is just gonna be a little dancey dance but Thunderlips is tossing him around the ring, tossing him outside the ring, the whole nine yards with this. And it comes to a draw, which is perfect because he's the champ and he's the champ. And then at the end, he's like, hey, you know, that was, um, Hogan's like, brother, that was a good match. That's what we do. It's all part of the show. And uh, they take a photo together and that's the thing. There's some problem, at, I mean, what we deem as problematic in society now like, he calls his ring escorts his love slaves. He's carrying a whip. Like, it's creepy. Hogan's a creepy dude anyways. But, I mean, I like... Uh, it was fun to watch the character. I forgot how tall Hulk Hogan was. Uh, I, I have met him uh, walking through the MGM Grand here in Las Vegas. And uh, he is a tall dude. But compared to Stallone, who's not that tall, dude, he's a fucking monster. But I did love the interaction with them in this movie. So now we get to the first fight with Clubber Lang. And Clubber just destroys Rocky. Destroys Rocky. Uh, which I liked. I was like, I mean, it's kind of the cut and paste. Go up against the champ. You lose your first bout. And then win the second. But it's the drive on how we get. So... It's revealed that Mickey basically made Rocky a paper champion and wasn't throwing him up against anybody Mickey thought he could actually lose against. This is Bur Burgess Meredith's last Rocky movie. They kill him off in the thing. He ends up uh, actually dying. And very sad. Burgess Meredith is a tremendous act. But uh, Rocky's, Rocky's like, I, I don't have it. I, I, how, how, how am I the champ but i'm not good enough and in steps carl weathers in steps paulo creed being like no you can beat this guy and i'm going to show you how to do it and ensue multiple montages they go to la and they're training and he's learning new things like swimming techniques build up muscles you don't normally use and learning a bunch of other stuff. Uh, Paulie comes off. Paulie comes off really racist in this when they go to uh, when they go to L.A. It's 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 fucking weird. It's a weird little side thing with him. But Paulie's a complete dick to Rocky through this whole thing. Uh, Paulie again. Paulie Paulie deserves feels he deserves better than what Rocky's doing for him and all this other shit. And I, I really do hate the Paulie character. I really. But Rocky comes back and just whoops up, whoops up Clubber Lang for the win. Now I feel this is the best story that they have told so far a lot of 
a lot of uh, storytelling from one to two to three, which makes it a great trilogy. Now where we go from here is a different story. But I did totally dig this. Where does this lie on my five-star scale? Now, the story, I believe, is a 4.5, 100%. I think it's a better story. A lot, a lot of depth to it. Cinematography, I didn't think it was all that was all that great in this one, so it's a three. The character's just up. Uh, Rocky walking around in those suits and just carrying himself differently. Well-spoken, like, I really do dig it. The design, like I said, those suits that Rocky's wearing, man, are mwah, brilliant. Uh, which brings the total to four. So yeah, four stars for Rocky so far. Rocky three, I dug it. Let me know down below if you guys dug it. Let me know down below if you're liking the Attack of the Franchise series. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you so very much. And I will see you in our next review.